welcome back to Cooking with Aubrey. Today, we're gonna make Cajun popcorn shrimp. It's gonna be delicious. We're gonna use um, an ingredient from another person that I like watch, Style Cracker. You guys ever seen Style Cracker? Uh, we're gonna be using his Cajun two-step for this, so I'm excited. All right, let's get started, guys. So what we have here is 4150 count shrimp. So that means that's like how they do like the size. So like there's 41 to 50 shrimp in each pound. And so that's how big they're gonna be. So I just wanted little tiny um, shrimp to for the popcorn shrimp, because you know popcorn shrimp's like, you know, pretty small. Um, and we're gonna fry it up. So these are already deveined, which is good, deveined. So when you're getting shrimp, you want try to get ones that are deveined if you can. That means, it's kind of hard to see, but that means right here, that's where they took out the vein. That's where all the poop is, so you want that gone. So it's a really tedious task to do yourself. So if you can get it already dv that's great. And now you just have to get the shell off. So it's really easy to get the shell off. You just pull both sides of the shell down and then squeeze the tip of the tail and pull it out. I'll change the angle for you guys so you get a little... So you have the shrimp here. Okay, so you're gonna pull back each side. Like, the, this shell is coming off really easy. Just broke right off because this was previously frozen. So when they're previously frozen, the, the shells come off even easier. So pull down each, each side of the shell like that. And then you take the tail, pinch it, pull back. And that's it. So we just wanna get these all done. So the way we're gonna make this is we're gonna toss this in the flour and the Cajun two-step and we're gonna spread it out on a sheet tray and kind of just put it in the freezer while we're getting the rest of the stuff ready. So we're gonna have extra flour left over. So I'm going to use, let's see here, a cup of flour and then I'm going to put in, so this is that Cajun two-step from Stale Cracker. Now I love his videos so I, don't know, I went and bought his Cajun two stuff because he uses it in like every single video. Um, so I just, I don't know, and I wanted to do a video with it. So yeah, if you've ever seen him, go check him out. Yeah, so it's like maybe like a tablespoon of that Cajun two set. And literally, we're just going to toss it. We're gonna make like a tempura like batter and we're going to um, toss this in the batter and then fry it up. So we're gonna put this onto a sheet pan. Okay, so we just want to I'm just gonna take the shrimp out of that extra flour here. The reason we're gonna put this in the freezer is so it kind of, I don't know, it just it just holds up a little bit better. Um, it's not gonna be in the freezer for long. It's only gonna be for a few minutes while we're making the batter and the sauce. And you can put it in the fridge as well if you want to. You just don't want to get, like, get rid of that extra flour as much as possible. And then just evenly spread it out. Okay, so now it's time for the sauce. So this is the fun part. You can kind of get creative here. So I've got my favorite mayo. You guys already know the safflower mayo. We're going to do a half cup of this. And so, I don't know, I've never made this uh, sauce before. I'm just kind of, just kind of winging it. We're gonna do a half cup of mayo. And then, let's see here. Let's do one, Let's do two tablespoons of relish. I really like relish. I am going to add in fresh lemon juice and some garlic and Cajun two-step. For the Cajun two-step, we don't need a lot. The stuff is really strong. I'm gonna do like a half teaspoon. Like, do I even want a half teaspoon? I want, let's actually just try a quarter teaspoon first. Let's just start with a quarter. We can, you can always add more, but you can't take out can't take out later. So here, I'm gonna squeeze these lemons off camera. Okay, so I'm gonna add like, I don't know, just like a half tablespoon of the lemon juice. And then for the garlic here, I'm actually going to grate this with 
Um, if you guys watched my video, it was a while ago. Um, I think it was back in the summer. Um, I had this cool little gadget that I got. I got this cool little gadget that I got. It's right here. And it's, um, it makes grating garlic like super easy and fast. So we're gonna use that. So this cool little gadget just makes it, look at that. It's just like two seconds. It's already like grated. So I'm gonna get some nice fresh pops of garlic in here. So that's like five garlic cloves. So it comes with this little brush that you just use to get it out. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that right in there. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and give this a stir. I was considering adding ketchup, but I don't know. We'll see after we try it. How it's kind of like a tartar sauce. This is super tasty. It's nice creamy, a nice creamy garlic flavor in there, which I love, but you can't really taste the Cajun two-step a lot. So we're, I'm gonna add another quarter, quarter teaspoon of the Cajun two-step. Okay, I still can't really taste it. Garlic is really strong. It's really getting that, oh, that lemon juice gives a good kick. The relish adds a little bit of texture to it. It's nice. So this is three quarters of a teaspoon. I think just one more will be, probably be fine. Okay, that's good. Yeah, okay, so this is gonna be our sauce here. Okay, so now it's time for the batter. So this is gonna be super easy. So I'm just gonna be eyeballing this. I mean, I used to eyeball this all the time when I when I used to make, when I was actually working in restaurants. I used to make batter like this all the time. So we're gonna use rice flour. We're gonna use uh, soda water. This is just club soda water. Uh, you just need, you need carbonation, the bubbles. We're gonna add a little Cajun two-step into it and then ice because tempura batter always needs to be really, really cold. So we're gonna throw in a couple ice cubes when we're done at the end. So this is literally so easy. This batter is just going to be based off of uh, consistency. So I'm gonna switch the angle. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do one and a half cups of the rice flour. We're gonna do a teaspoon. Actually, let's do oh, two, te two teaspoons. Yeah, should be fine. I don't know, we'll see, we might add in more, but right now there's two teaspoons of the Cajun two-step. We're gonna start with a half cup of soda water. Ow, oh my God, I just jammed my finger into my drawer. Oh my God, that fucking hurt. Okay, um, yeah, we're gonna need more liquid. Okay, so let's do another, so it's gonna be a cup. Yeah, no, we're gonna need, okay, this was a lot. Okay, we're gonna. <laughs> yeah, this should be good. So this is the consistency of it. I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe consistency. Like it's thin, but it has a little bit of body to it still. And this, the flour will settle at the bottom. So you just want to make sure you, before you actually mix it in with the shrimp that before you grab it, you want to give it a good little stir because the flour will settle. And then I'm also going to add in a couple, ah! I'm gonna add in a couple of ice cubes in here as well. And then if you're not gonna fry up the shrimp right away, put this um, in the in the fridge while you're before you do it because you, you want this to stay cold. All right, now it's time to uh, almost eat. So we're gonna fry them up. So I just took the shrimp out of the freezer, had to like bring them up off, they stuck a little bit to the sheet pan. That's okay, you just take them off. It's no big deal, it takes two seconds. Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna toss these in batter and we're gonna fry up. I have oil heating, uh, preheating on medium heat and then we'll finally get to eat. Okay, so we're gonna, you're gonna have to fry this in batches so that way you have enough room in the in the pan. So I'm gonna do, I don't know, like that much. I was like two handfuls. And then we're just gonna take a scoop. You just wanna make sure, I did just stir this up a second ago, but yeah, you just wanna make sure that you stir it up again before you actually add in the batter. We'll do a little bit more. You just mix it like this. You're gonna put it in. You don't wanna drop it from up high because you're gonna splash yourself. 
Do you want to do that and then... You're gonna need to break up the shrimp because they're gonna stick in chunks together. So it's hard to see through it boiling, but you can kind of feel it like with your, um, whatever utensil you're using. And these are gonna fry up very fast, okay? Especially your first batch. Just wanna do your best, just break them up. And let them cook for a couple of minutes. All right, so now we're gonna take out the shrimp. They're nice and uh, golden brown. And then we're gonna immediately toss them in some sauce. Actually, you know what? No, I don't wanna toss these. You know what? We're just gonna dip them. So, you know what? Ah, screw, screw. I'm gonna put them on uh, some paper towels. You know, I keep going back and forth how I wanna prepare it, but you know, I think I just wanna dip them in the sauce. I don't wanna toss them in the sauce. You just want to lightly salt them. Oh, that's what they look like fresh out the fryer. Oh, they look so freaking good and crispy. Crisp. Okay, so it's all done. I think with that first batch, I may have actually overcooked it a little bit. So that's okay. Anyway, but so first we're gonna try the shrimp by itself without any dip. If y'all should know by now, I think that something should taste just like good enough by itself. It doesn't need a sauce. Mm. That's really good. Um, I use the rice flour because it gets really crispy, a crispier than like regular flour, like AP all purpose flour. So that's why I use it and it is really nice and crispy and it's still really well rounded that Cajun two-step really gives it a lot of flavor. So now we're going to go ahead and mmm, mmm, that creamy garlic taste really, oh my God, really just makes that sauce and it goes so well to shrimp. Oh my God. And it's not, I was a little worried that the Cajun two-step seasoning was going to be a little overpowering because I used it you know, to dredge it in flour. I also use it in the batter and I use it in the sauce. I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have put it in everything, but actually it was really good. This is exactly what I wanted. Oh my God, it came out literally perfect. Make yourself some Cajun popcorn shrimp. It was a really, really easy dish to make and it tastes freaking delicious. Anyway, I love you guys. You have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you for joining me.